Good morning, everybody. Um, it is June 3rd. Gosh, we're only like five days left. We're done. I'll be done teaching on Friday, and then the last couple of days will be just get caught up. Um, if you have everything in, you're going to get an A, okay? If you have everything in, you're going to get an A, regardless, okay? If you don't have everything in, I can't give you an A, but, um, you know, and then there's always that idea of incomplete. And, of course, the people that are not watching this are probably the ones that are going to get incomplete because they haven't been doing anything. So, anyway, incomplete means you got to take the class over again and that's going to be a bummer okay so first of all let's take a look at last night's homework which was a little bit difficult but um what i found first of all in this problem is i know these two angles are equal by vertical angles so i can say that it's equal by side i'm sorry angle side angle and then of course i can say that these are part of that triangle so this is congruent to this by cpctc corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent okay um I use hypotenuse leg in this one because of the right triangle. And I knew this as well as a hypotenuse leg. Um, then the two triangles are congruent. And then I can say this size equal to that by corresponding parts. Congruent triangles are congruent. Okay. Um, in this figure, you can say the triangles are congruent by side angle side. And then once that's true, I can say the two angles are congruent by corresponding parts. Congruent triangles are congruent. Okay. Um, on this one, we're looking at two triangles. One triangle is here. And the other triangle is here. And what I did is I was able to say that this side, which contains both triangles, is equal. To, oh, no, this triangle, this side is equal to this side. Um, why did I say that? Hypotenuse leg, huh? By reflexive, it's equal to itself. Interesting. I'm not so sure if I did this one right. I'll have to go back and check it, okay? Um, okay, number five. This one's kind of hard because first I had to get this big triangle congruent. And I did that by side, side, side. And then once I got that congruent, I was able to say that um, this side's equal to this side by reflexive, right? Um, and then I could use that this little triangle is equal to this little triangle by siding a side. And then finally, I was able to say one is congruent to two by CPCTC, okay? Um, we kind of went through this one together um, yesterday, but by the construction, this side's equal to this side, this side's equal to this side by the construction. Then side angle side, I'm sorry, side, side, side makes the two triangles congruent, and then I can say the angles are congruent by corresponding parts congruent, triangles are congruent, okay? All right, now, let's talk about today's notes, and we're almost done, all right? So, today's notes, it's called coordinate proofs. Everything's done, coordinate proofs, everything's done on the XY plane. Proof on the XY plane plane you know by graphing or graphing so um sometimes it's pretty easy and other times what we want to do is get a general form when you talk about a general form they're talking about a rectangle l units long so we'll draw these in a bit let's do number one first okay okay so first of all assign coordinates for each vertex explain the advantage okay so we've got a right triangle two units wide and six units long so all right let's just draw it in okay i purposefully left out so i like to start at the origin most of the time because zero zero is the easiest place to start right so explain your advantages my advantage i like to start at zero zero because that's the easiest place to start and then two units wide six units long one two three three, four, five, six, and here is my right triangle. That was easy. I don't think anybody's going to have any trouble with that. Okay, here's my triangle. Okay, my coordinates of this would be at two, six, and at two, zero. Okay, and I saw this right triangle with four unit legs. Okay, again, I think the easiest way to do this one again is to put it at the origin, okay? I saw this right. Okay, so I'm gonna put my x, y axis here and here. And again, I like to start at the origin. It's the easiest to go zero, zero. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. And I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, because it's isosceles, right? So then my triangle is right here. Okay, my coordinates of my triangle are 0, 0 at 4, 0 
and at zero four. Okay, now three is different because we don't have any links except for L and W. So again, I like to start at the origin. I really do. Now L units long could be anything. So let's just call this L and W units wide. So let's call this W. Could be any number. Could be five, could be six, whatever. We're going to call it L and W. So let me draw in my rectangle. Okay, I'm just gonna could be any shape because it's a general rectangle. And if I draw that in, let's figure out what the coordinates are. Well, this is gonna be L zero, because you're out L, whatever L is, and up zero. This one's gonna be at z zero W because you're over zero but up W. And then this point right here has to be over L up W. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, now four. To do four, I'm going to do four a little bit differently. Instead of putting it at the origin, I think you're going to see why I'm going to put it over a little bit, okay? To make this a little bit easier, you're going to see this, okay? So it's an isosceles triangle with base length B and height H, okay? So let's do this. I'm going to do this a little bit different. Let's make it H here. If the base is B, okay, if the base is B, right, it could be any length for right now, but it's got to be the same, right? Okay, here's what I'm going to do. The whole thing is B, then this is going to be at half a B, so my coordinate then is going to be at one half B zero. This is back at a negative one half b zero. My height is at the point zero h. Here's my isosceles triangle with base b. Okay, a little bit more difficult. Takes a little bit more thought to put it together. Okay. And the reason I put it here it's because it makes the height much easier to get, okay? All right, now, five. Let's go ahead and draw it. So, zero, zero, I can draw that. There's point A. Point B is at A comma two, okay? So, I actually have a two, but I don't know what B is, okay? So, A and two, there's B over A, up B. We don't know what the value A is, okay? C is at A0, so C has to be right here. Here's point C, there's B, okay, and it's got to be a triangle. That. Right there. Now what's the coordinate of B? We already know. 0, or A2, I'm sorry, A2. There it is. And it's got to be a right triangle. Of that. Okay, all right, so same thing. We've got J. I'll let you guys do this. You guys can do this. I'm wasting your time, okay? Um, okay, seven. Find the coordinate of the unlabeled. Okay, so this is easy. Zero, zero. That was really easy. Okay, but how about this one here? Well, if this is H, I've got to go all the way over to H, and then this has a height of zero. That was easy. Okay, eight. Um, these two triangles are congruent by side, side, side. So this point has to correspond to this point. So point D has to be a, you ready? Flip it up, it's gotta be a positive two and a positive four. Okay, this point G has gotta be a negative two H, zero, okay? Last but not least, your friend says that the convenient way to draw an equilateral triangle in a coordinate plane is to start with base along the x-axis, start at zero, zero. I, I, you know, it'll work, but I think it's easier to put it the height at zero, zero. That's what I think. H is here. I call that a one-half H. I call that a negative one-half H. And I think it's easier to put right there. 
Okay, so homework, you ready? Page 361, and I'll take a look at that with you. Okay, one through six all. Um, this is our last homework out of the book, so you can burn your book if you want to after this, okay? So, when it says do a proof, all I need you to do is just set it up, okay? Write a plan for a proof. You don't have to do a proof, just write a plan. What would you do to say that's equal to that, okay? Um, same thing on four, okay? Five's easy. Just draw it on here using M, whatever M is, M and M. Um, and on this one, just come up with a plan for a proof, okay? And that's what I have, okay? I will talk to you tomorrow. If you have any questions, go ahead and text me, send me your homework. Uh, we're doing great. We're almost done.